Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first visit, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for spending time with me. So I have a class coming up soon and everyone is going to be using a split cup from Tracy Reed. And I thought it would be easy and fun to use ready to pour paints from Artist Loft. So that's what I've been doing this past week is trying different pours with this paint. Um, sometimes using a regular cup, sometimes using a split cup. And I have to say, I am always pleasantly surprised at this paint. The colors are vibrant and they dry glossy. Um, the consistency of the majority of them is pretty much the same. Although there are a few colors that I've found that are thinner than the rest and metallic white is one of those. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Now you noticed that I'm using copper and gold in this piece. And honestly, those two colors are really bossy. So I wanted more color color in this piece. Um, so that's why I'm using the red, the purple and the uh, blue green on the, in the center and on the edges. And then I'm putting the metallics in the smaller chambers on the inside. So those of you that are just getting started in fluid acrylics or maybe thinking about trying it, this is really a great way to get your feet wet, so to speak, and not break the bank by rushing out to purchase all of these different types of pouring mediums and paints and so on. The consistency of these paints is great to learn so many different kinds of pours. Uh, you can do ring pours, straight pours, you can do ribbon pours, dips, balloon smashes. Um, I have done all of those techniques with this specific paint. Now they're a little thick for a Dutch pour, so if you're wanting to try that technique, I would recommend thinning down your paints just a bit. But using these paints is a great way to try out different pours, learn how to pour them, learn how to tilt them um, without having to spend a whole lot of money. I really, really love the colors in this piece and I didn't want my paint rolling over itself um, when I tilted it. So the paint that I'm using here as a flow extender is just a huge combination of a bunch of leftover paints that I've had, uh, that I've scraped, that I've saved, and um, it's a little bit thinner than the consistency of the paints that I'm using but it works great as flow extender. Again, recycle, recycle.
Just a little tip from something that I've learned from using these paints. It does not do well if you leave a lot of paint on the canvas. It will crack. So as I go through the tilting process here, you're gonna see me tilt it pretty hard. And I'm, I'm trying to get off as much paint as I possibly can. Um, with When you're using regular acrylic paints that are mixed with medium, um, you can leave a lot more paint on the canvas and not have it crack. But these paints do not like to be left thick. Uh, so that's why I'm gonna have to tilt a lot of it off. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love these multicolored rings in the center. They are so pretty and they shine. Uh, the copper, <clears throat> the little bit of the gold, the, I, I, oh my goodness. The multicolors are just so pretty and you'll see them in the dried result. I am so happy with how this piece dried. The colors are just gorgeous, and I can't wait to get it in a frame and sell it. Here it is up in a couple of different orientations. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Be sure and tune in next Friday for Pouring from Coast to Coast. It comes on at four Eastern. We have been given the challenge of using three shades of our least favorite color. And guys, honestly, I'm a little bit at a loss because I love all colors. So I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this, but be sure to tune in next Friday and find out how we did. We'll see you then.